Welcome back to another Nomad Scrambler video and today we've got this, the Mutt Razorback 125 and where better to test it out than Birmingham, the home of some iconic motorcycle companies of old. A massive thank you to Mutt Motorcycles in Birmingham for providing this bike for review. Now this stunning retro is inspired by the 70s trackers and in my opinion doesn't get the credit it deserves. Mutt have entered the market focusing on small capacity bikes such as 125 and 250 motorcycles. This particular bike features a retro monoshock design, a high front mudguard, LED indicators and a shorty exhaust which sounds great straight out of the factory. The Razorback 125 features a 125cc engine cloned from the GN125, which is fully ULES and CAS compliant with a manual 5-speed, 1-down, 4-up transmission, which is standard across the industry. So let's talk about the good parts of the Mutt Razorback 125. I like how easy it is to just jump on and get going this thing really does us uh, inspire confidence straight out the gate it's nice and flickable the throttle rolls on very very nicely for a 125 and it, it's not really that jerky like you can jerk it around if you're a bit rough with it but it is it's a great first bike that's for sure the fuel efficiency on this bike is definitely another massive plus it's going to give you loads of range, especially being a 125. So if you are looking for that perfect little city commuter, this is definitely one to check out in terms of uh, fuel efficiency and range. Now, Mutt don't specify the range on their website. However, from experience owning my Mutt, you're looking at about 400 miles to the tank, which is... It's pretty perfect for a little daily commuter, especially in the city. And it does inspire the confidence to just weave in and out of traffic being so small with your legs hugging the tank nicely. Now, with a seat height of 880 millimeters, this is quite a tall bike. And even for someone at my height, which is about 180 centimeters roughly, this thing is quite difficult to flat foot especially as a new rider it's not the most approachable in seat height it's 100 mil taller than my triumph street scrambler however it does give you that nice commanding position that allows you to see nice and far forward in traffic and really does fit the 70s tracker vibe that mutt were going for with this bike The display here on the Razorback 125, it is kind of, it's no frills. It's, it's got everything you need. It's got a rev, revometer, a speed indicator, and a gear indicator, which is uh, it's quite nice to see on such a small bike. However, it does lack that connectivity that we are seeing from most modern manufacturers these days. However, for me, when you're riding, you want to escape, especially on that morning commute, because let's be honest, this is what you're going to be doing on this bike. Like, especially around cities, this thing is, is perfect. And if you do need something more for your morning commute in terms of navigation or just being able to see where you're going out on those weekend rides, you should check out Quadlock. It's not sponsored, but... I use their foam mount every single time I go out on my Triumph and it is really the market leader for me and something that I can't ride without these days, especially when it comes to navigation. With a running weight of only 123 kilos, this bike is perfectly flickable on twisties or in city traffic. Now, like every bike, there are some bad points, especially with the Razorback 125. It's very underpowered for a 125, especially in the retro market compared to the Yamaha XSR 125, which is uh, 
right up there with the on the limit of the power that you can have on a 125 whereas this is down at 8.2 kilowatts instead of all the way up at 11 like Yamaha however for city commuting this thing is absolutely a blast of fun and you can really like wring the neck on it and get every part of the rev range used unlike some bikes where you're uh, you're changing up early this is definitely one that you can wring its neck on number two the thing that i've noticed the most is that high front mud guard with those big knobblies on the front it's just it doesn't do a lot it completely he covers you whenever you go through water and i don't know if you can tell from my visor but i'm absolutely soaked And every time I accelerate, I'm definitely feeling it. Now, in conclusion, this is a great retro-inspired learner bike taking on the likes of Yamaha's XSR 125. And if you're looking to get into riding and the retro styling appeals to you, this is a great first bike for slightly less than four grand on the road. So, is this really the best 125 on the market? Well, yes and no. The bike offers a great retro styled experience and certainly gets the job done. But given the lower power output than other retros on the market like the Yamaha XSR 125, don't expect to be blown away by the power. That being said, it certainly stands out amongst the crowd and will be getting attention wherever you go. So if you're looking for something just a little bit different to the rest, check out the Mutt Razorback 125. Tell me your favorite part of the Razorback in the comment section below. Like the video if you do, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And, and, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.